Hi, my name is Karina Morocco with EBD Group and we are here at BioEurope 2019 in Hamburg. Today I'm joined by Jin Son Yu. He is the president and CEO of Farm Absin. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure meeting you. So could you just tell us a little bit more about your company, its platforms and its pipelines? Yes. Uh, Farmapsin uh, is clinical stage biotech. Recently went to IPO in coastal market in South Korea. And uh, we are mainly focusing on oncology drug development, uh, more focusing on next generation. And we do have uh, several platforms. One is a Hue Phase Display Library. That's a fully human antibody library and phase display system, which has a very superior diversity and quality. And we have very sophisticated customized selection system. That is what we have. And then we have a, a bi-specific and multi-specific antibody platform called DIG body, PIG body, and TIG body. By using TIG body, we can engage T cells or NK cells or macrophages. And we do have, under the collaboration with Samsung Medical Center, have access to uh, patient-derived cancer stem cell libraries. And by using patient-derived cancer stem cell libraries, we are able to generate it also PDX animal model system, uh, which close to cancer patients, actually. So in that system, we can evaluate whether our drug candidate has some competitiveness value or not. And we have a surgery expression system to generate high-performing cell line. This is what we have. And the um, good thing is we finished long time ago our phase 2A recurrent GBM trial in Australia with clear safety profiles. And by this uh, uh, encouraging data, we are engaged by US FDA to go to uh, phase 2 of Vastin relapsed refractory recurrent GBM. This study was just open in Stanford Medical Center, Florida Cancer Center, and Olivia Newton John Cancer Center in Melbourne, Australia. And we do have uh, some combination trial with uh, US Merck together. Uh, they have a Kitruda as a PD-1 antibody, and our Olimbes map as angiogenesis inhibitor together uh, initiate a recurrent GBM trial. That's one trial, and the other one as a metastatic triple negative breast cancer. And these both phase 1B study runs very smoothly from early this year. Probably these two studies will be done uh, Q2 2020, and then we will prepare for global scale of these combo trials. And so could you tell us a little bit more about the clinical stage right now with Olimbasumab? So Olimbasumab, we finished uh, our phase 1 study at Samsung Medical Center in 2000. Uh, 14, and we went to Australia uh, for phase 2A recurrent GBM trial in 15, and the study was finished in 2017. And now, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the Ovastin refractory relapse recurrent GBM phase 2 studies are ongoing, and also phase 1B Pembroke combo studies are ongoing. And we are opening for uh, several unmanned indications like adenoid-cystic carcinoma, it's called ACC. And we are also tackling uh, ovarian cancer and renal cell carcinoma and hepatocellular carcinoma. Those indications we are uh, looking for to initiate as a single but also combination trials. And could you also introduce any other selected pipelines that you want to expose? Yeah, as I mentioned, we do have a bi-specific antibody platform based on DIG body and PIG body. The first asset was a PMC001 and PMC002R. These are bi-specific antibody targeting VEGFL2 and TAI2 simultaneously and performs much better than a Vastin or even Olimbasumab which are, are monospecific antibodies. And we do have a very increasing data that both PMC001 and W2R uh, perform to manage um, a vast in uh, resistance uh, GBM animal model system. And this uh, molecule will be in preclinical stage and hoping that we could uh, bring this molecule also in phase one in, uh, in two years, I think. And we have uh, another molecule, PMC201, that's a VEGFL2 and DLL4, double-targeting uh, double bispecific antibody. We hope that notch DLL4 
uh, pathway uh, play pivotal role in anti-cancer drug resistance mechanism and highly active in uh, cancer stem cell field. We think this PMC201 has some value for clinical benefit. And we have a more innovative bispecific antibody called PMC122. It consists of anti pdl one antibody and secondary target we engage CD47. So this single bispecific antibody can bind both uh, PDL1 and CD47 so that you can have active cytotoxic T cell but also macrophage. Um, what the innovation in it is, uh, PMC122 is designed as a 100 times stronger affinity on PDL1 rather than CD47. So that if you infuse this molecule to cancer patient, it will enrich on tumor microenvironment where PDL1 is highly overexpressed and minimize the binding on CD47 on red blood cell to avoid any unwanted side uh, effects uh, caused by CD47 on red blood cell. And we have a very exciting molecule called PMC309 that's anti-VISTA antibody, antagonizing antibody. It has a very uh, promising anti-tumor effect, but more interestingly, if you combine with anti-PD-1 antibody together as a cocktail, the synergy effect is very promising. So we are very excited on that uh, development. But we also have anti-NG2 um, single-chain FOB called PMC-401S as a single-chain FOB. And that molecule is not for uh, oncology, but ophthalmology. And uh, we are tackling for neovasculature-related AMD and diabetic retinopathy in ophthalmology area. And we will bring this molecule to phase one in 2021, too. Great, that sounds all really exciting. Looks like you have a lot to be working on currently, and we're excited to see all of that come to fruition. Um, so could you just share a little bit more overall about Pharma Abstain's perspectives? Yeah, we think um, coming year, 2020, will be very exciting because we are happy to present our uh, combo trial data in coming ESCO and preparing for global scale trials. And we just opened U.S. subsidiary uh, in South San Francisco, and that company called Winkel Pharma. And Winkel Biopharma will mainly focusing on non-oncology assets while we generate it. And we also opened uh, in Brisbane, Australia, another Australian subsidiary uh, company. And this company is in charge of the entire clinical trial for Australia. But also we are looking for research collaboration in uh, top tier research institute as a QIMR and those uh, University of Queensland, etc. So if people could, uh, wanted to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Well, uh, they can survey uh, farmapps.com or my personal email address is wincancer, W-I-N-C-A-N-C-E-R at gmail.com and they can, you know, send email and uh, I'm also LinkedIn and Facebook so I'm active on social networking. Oh, that's great. Well thank you so much for sharing everything with us and we wish thank you, you the best of luck. Yeah thanks. Thank you.